the dirtiest places in your kitchen. And one of those places is the microwave, which is dirtier than a pet toy. And let me explain to you why. Let's step over here to the microwave. Now, this one, believe it or not, just got cleaned pretty well. So it's not bad. But what we want to do is clean it out all the time, not part of the time. So you can use a product like this, which is natural, and can be used on food surfaces. But even then, I would rinse it afterwards, spray and wipe. With this, you can make some hot soapy water into it, or lemon slices in a bowl of water, put it in the microwave, and simply let that boil. Leave it in there for a couple hours and wipe it out. The problem is the bacteria get stronger and stronger because it's always warm and moist in there. And they're harder and harder to kill. So try to do that on a regular basis. It's vital. Now, what other places filthy me dirty? I bet you're not thinking about this. Maybe the kitchen sink. Because everything dirty happens there. You're watching fruits and vegetables, you're cleaning your meals, you're doing your meats and everything. And you're usually wiping it out with a sponge that you've used at the sink for, I'm going to say a week, but I bet a lot of you don't remember the last time you changed out that sponge. So, we're going to clean it all the time. Once a week, we're going to take a quart of water and a teaspoon of liquid chlorine bleach. We're going to spray it on or wipe it onto the sink, let it run down that drain. Every week you want to do that because that is what's going to sanitize it. In between, I use a good natural spray cleaner. Now, if you're looking to make some really good ones like this one that costs basically nothing, go to queenofclean.com. i got a ton of recipes on there for you that you can use. Now, dry it out when you're done. And what I always do in the kitchen at night when I'm done with dinner is I take a nice, clean microfiber cloth and I start and I tidy up in there. Now, what else is dirty? One of the dirtiest places is the refrigerator handle. You touch it all the time when you're preparing meals. Kids come in from school, nobody washes their hands before they grab the handle. So this is one time I'm going to tell you, I don't mind if you use disinfecting wipes, even though I'm not usually in favor of them. The other thing you can do is take one of your natural cleaners and a microfiber cloth, and it can even be without soap and water. And I'm just gonna spray it on my cloth, and I'm going to wipe that handle down really well. And if you're using a natural product, you can just let that dry on there. But make sure you're cleaning that. And I do that every night. If you want to use just soap and water, try Dr. Bonner's with tea tree oil because that is an antibacterial in itself and will do a great job cleaning. Now, I bet this might surprise some of you. Even if you have dishwashers, a lot of us like to have a little rack in the sink for things that we don't put in. If you ever turn that over and look at how dirty it is and gets, look at the legs on it and how filthy it is on the inside. So every week you want to do one of two things. Pop it in the dishwasher. Let it wash in there. Quick, easy, kills the germs. Spray it down with some undiluted white vinegar. Wash it with hot soap and water. Any of that will work for you, but don't forget this because look at the bottom of that, how nasty that is. You definitely want to clean that. Now, one of the things that really is bad are these spatulas and brushes. Why are they bad? Because these come apart and look what gets inside. Mold, mildew, bacteria, any of these that come apart, they stay wet in there and there's nothing but bacteria growing. To avoid that, Get the silicone ones that don't have a pull-out handle. That is what you want to use. If you want to use these and clean them, pull them apart and wash them so that they dry out in between. Wooden spoons, wooden utensils. If you put them in a dryer, they crack. In the cracks, you get food, germs, bacteria. So don't put them in the dishwasher. Wash them a little hot soap and water, rinse them in hot water, spray them down with white vinegar every so often to disinfect. Or look for these bamboo kind like I have here that does not pick up bacteria and does not split. Last but not least, you have salt and pepper shakers near the stove. When was the last time you washed them? Because when you're cooking dinner, you're grabbing these things all the time, no matter what's on your hands. Microfiber cloth and either some white vinegar, hot water dishwashing soap, any of those things will work. A clean microfiber cloth in your kitchen at night when you're tidying up is a great thing to have. So guys, if you're looking for a complete printable copy of this, go to cleanclean.com. Check me out real quickly on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. 
find her 24-7 with hundreds of videos on the Queen of Queen channel. Guys, thanks so much for talking dirty with the Queen of Queens.